Hi, welcome to the Red Court Tarot. I am Nikita and today we are doing from mid-August to mid-July reading for those of you who have birthdays uh, number 5 or rounds off to uh, number 5. So let us us get started. I have already pre-shuffled but today there are a lot of repeat cards happening. So just to be sure, I am shuffling to pull out cards and messages for you. These are going to play out from mid-August to mid-September. Energy is fluid so it may start off a bit early and continue from beyond mid-September as well conclusions are within reach so they are some chapters be it lessons be it relationships be it an old job be it whatever phase cycles uh, karma cycles you know lessons that saturn has been bringing uh, check out you know your aquarius what house is it for you and what are the placements uh, because that's where we have been working really hard all of us have been going through our individual lessons and then tests and for you the conclusions are very very close it is the last stretch and you are going to be successfully closing out those old chapters <laughs> okay so you have been uh, divinely guided to work on your sp uh, personal growth it can be spiritual you might have been working on your intuition how to align with the divine how to listen to your intuition uh, you have been also guided uh, for this time period it is for always but specifically mid august to mid september to work on your heart chakra your upper heart chakra your third eye your sacral chakra as well as your throat chakra uh, work on them be it by listening to healing uh, um, music binaural beats or taking uh, reiki working with crystals doing your affirmations working with gemstones whatever suits you do that work mm, you are going to be challenged i think it might be in your um maybe eighth house tenth house or something like that because it is about your finance um where you have to learn to be a team player give credit where it's due share credit be open-hearted in giving and receiving be it in love be it in your career sector if you are someone who is cutthroat who is too um, i me myself my success uh uh no no this is fish mooney from gotham which is uh, my favorite show <laughs> right now on netflix and fish mooney goes <laughs> so no no you need to open your heart be more giving uh, and also work in a financial discipline to not be stingy you know people uh, think financial discipline is about just saving it is also about not being in a mentality of lack or scarcity of being scared of sharing your resources sharing your wisdom sharing your love sharing your time sharing whatever it might be you know to give is to receive from the divine what you give to people here is what you receive from the divine and you are going to be probably bought lessons or you are already going through that and you are going to uh, reach the conclusion you are definitely being asked to be have a lot more self-discipline self-control willpower if you are someone who confuses lust for love you have to learn to distinguish between the two love is unconditional it doesn't change just because the name of the relationship changes or that you put an end to one part it you know relationships come with expiry dates once the lesson or the karma or the debt is over your relationships are over but if you are in a relationship out of lust lust can be anything sexual for power for ego for uh, self indulgence you know whatever that they will provide you with this or that free sex cook your meals raise your children wash your clothes take care of your house take care of your parents 
whatever your mindset might be if you're there to just stake you will have to start giving investing you know learning the difference between um platonic love unconditional love romantic love lustful love <laughs> all of that um also you will have to communicate openly give love through words listening to people who are trying to communicate with you that is also an act of love by patiently hearing them out your throat chakra will be clearing at that time so you might develop cough or mucus which you will have to clear out use natural pathy or homeopathy is my advice always okay um you might be questioning a lot of things that you are going through have been going through uh, with the why why is it happening and the answers are being provided to you if you are open to listening okay and then there will come this opportunity uh, after this clearing out where you will take charge where you will stand up in and empower your masculine energy for example if you're a woman and you think you need to always depend on a man to provide for you financially for your safety for your security for your standing in society you will take charge and start your own business become your own creator of wealth of your own a uh, home and whatever else that you desire in life you will provide for your own self you will take charge you will uh, not hesitate in making the first move if there is someone you are romantically interested in right and that taking power when you are guided once you have completed these chapters is when you will get the result of milk and honey that is so awesome okay and this entire journey you are going to be guided by the direction guardian they will help you to choose the correct path for you okay um one moment please connect with your deepest desires then choose the path that will make your heart and soul sing your path is in set in stone and your angels and guides have no expectations of you nor should you have any for yourself there are many directions you can take none of them are wrong as they all hold perfect opportunities to grow and to learn but life is to be enjoyed and savored so if you know that that there is a decision to be made and particularly if you are feeling indecisive choose the path you know is going to make you light up and choose with your heart your heart will never lead you astray okay so there are a lot of things society has told you unmarried being unmarried is wrong having a uh, and a uh, premarital relationship is wrong you know doing this is wrong and that is wrong and if it is right for you if you're not hurting someone uh by doing something if you're coming to them with honesty and integrity and transparency nothing is wrong we are here to experience joy we are here to savor the beauty the world has to offer we are not here to suffer pain is given to us when we stop paying attention where there is a lot of blockage be it physical health issues be it physical pain be it emotional pain it shows you where you need to heal yourself where there is a blockage where you need to go with the flow where you need to do clearing releasing healing surrendering so you will be guided you are being supported but you need to free yourself from shackles and boxes and labels and should would could i shouldn't that is taboo that is immoral <sighs> breathe live follow your heart you will choose the right thing i didn't say follow your emotions i said follow your heart okay the witch now releases you from any ill wishing she sprinkles sage beneath your pillow think of what you wish to release before you go to sleep all will be well in one lunar cycle all right so what i'm hearing is um whenever you receive this message the full moon after that so if you are watching for example now and the full moon is 22nd of august 
I want you to keep a pouch of sage under your pillow as you sleep uh, along with doing your release exercises, writing and burning and clearing whatever your rituals might be using candle magic, using whatever resources you wish to do that but also sleep with sage under your pillow uh, keep it there for a month and within a month a lot of blockages will be cleared out of your life and that which you're trying to manifest is going to come towards you now we're going to pull out some tarot cards to see any additional messages or confirmations for what messages have already come through Ooh my god nobody has got these many cards all right number five five change 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 you are one set of people who should not get comfortable in anything for too long your life journey is about changes i wonder if someone has told you that see if you are in two minds about something if you are trying to make a decision if you're trying to choose if you have been juggling situations follow your heart follow that which your soul lights up your heart lights up no matter what your brain or your ego or your conditioning is telling you all right give to people be fair in giving don't just give to one for example i see a lot of people pouring into their karmic situations getting nothing not appreciate they are not appreciated the effort is not appreciated what they are doing is not appreciated yet they keep pouring over there just because they think they can win someone's love or approval or praise from them it's never gonna happen pour into the person who's pouring into you bring justice and fairness there keep working on yourself work on your pentacles your career your finances you're going to do really well over there you are going to grow from strength to strength you are going to become strong independent you know you are going to rely on yourself you're going to start enjoying your single hood if that's where you are at at least mentally and emotionally your energy is that of a single even if you're in a commitment you are not emotionally involved over there this is you you are single your energy is single singles reading will resonate more for you than couples readings you need to open your heart like i said stop being in a stingy place start giving compliments start giving credit start sharing stuff with people ideas or you know money whatever it might be love open your heart stop living from a place of fear and lack and scarcity wow love you have to offer your cup of love to someone at this time you will and that might lead to your long lasting happiness here on this physical realm there's a progression from nine to the ten of pentacles growth from two of pentacles the juggling the confusion huh. yeah so if you have st stuck yourself in your mind i can't i shouldn't how can I? I don't know how to. I need permission to do something. Yeah. <laughs> Get yourself free. Stop thinking. Walk away from that. Does That doesn't fulfill you. That does not fill your cups. That doesn't bring you happiness. That doesn't appreciate what you're doing. Be it a job. Be it a relationship. Be it a relation. Any relationship. Be it anything. That is not filling your cup. Leave. Don't stay stuck. And the angels are working with you at this time to bring you balance, to bring you clarity, to bring you the patience that you need. Yes, you need patience. We all love that word so much. Emotions. Emotions will be coming up. You will have to reveal secrets. You will have to face your deepest fears. They will be brought up for healing, releasing, so that new can come in. You have to clear all the old so that new partnership be it in business be it in your relationship new love can come in if you are hell-bent on restoring or healing a relationship with someone working on it that too is very very possible at this time okay but like i said with the moon definitely your shadow aspect is going to be coming up right you will have to deal with that which you have kept suppressed for so long which you hide from everyone including yourself the 
parts of you that are filled with guilt remorse shame uh, and then you cover it up using your ego you know by projecting that shit on other people you will have to deal with it in this time period completion will happen patience is going to be required and then the time is going to change wow very powerful i do hope you are going to like subscribe and comment down below very powerful readings uh, with me you will always get the truth as it is and there is not going to be any sugar coating if that's not for you too bad because i'm never going to give you false hope it's real here it is the raw here it is love here so leave me your love and i hope you'll become a part of our tribe a community love and light this is nikita check out these other readings